All right, as promised, this is the uh, video about what we actually like about the Airstream Sport 22. This is the 2018 model. This is the back of it right now. Um, we've had it for just over about a year and a half. We put 25,000 miles on it through Alaska, Canada, all of the above. We spent six months living in it. Uh, that is full time as far as I'm concerned. We didn't live a full year in it because we didn't actually move down south with it. Uh, let me show you guys what we actually like about it, one of the reasons why, reasons why we bought it, and show you some of the upgrades that we actually did on it. So, <clears throat> you guys gave us lots of love on the video about what we broke on it. So, I feel bad for Airstream because we broke a bunch of stuff on it, and it broke a bunch of stuff by itself. Yes, roads aren't completely smooth throughout the entire country. Alaska roads, Yukon roads are not perfectly smooth. This beautiful dent was the very last day of our trip. Literally, we got back to the Northeast. Uh, I was trying to back into a spot and hit a towing mirror on somebody else's car and that's $5,000 of the damage. I was actually be trying to pull the dent out. So let me show you from the front to the back what we like about it and what improvements we made um, to make the trailer kind of work for us with so many miles and hopping in and out and moving to a new place every two days. So we were kind of like hauling around the country um, trying to see as much as possible in the short amount of time that we had. So for the front, I just put some white tape on there. It makes it easier contrast wise to back up and hook up. Um, what else do we do? We bought one of these slinky leashes because the other one was dragging on the ground. They make it super long for whatever reason. Um, we upgraded the battery from a size 24 to a size 29 or 31 now. Uh, we would have done two 24s in there, but they don't fit. There's just not enough room with the brackets um, for the low leveling. One of the things that I did see on the Airstream form, form that I loved was this piece of wood under there. And let me show you from the other side. It's a little easier to see. So I just, this is like utilized storage space that I made uh, by putting that piece of wood in there. So we keep our, our black tank flush hose in there and some tools and some gloves and the dog chain and stuff like that. So that's the other thing that we like about it. These windows in the front, I really wish they weren't tinted, but they are. Um, they provide a ton of light when they're off, even when they're on. Um, this front one opens up. You have to come outside and open it up, and that's, that's fine. That's easy to do. Um, we like how the water tank works. That's really nice. The water pressure is great. Uh, Three-stage refrigerator. We also like this. This is the uh, black tank flush. We talked to a lot of people that had like multiple issues or really bad stinking black tanks. We flushed ours a lot, like with the fresh water. We never had an issue. I don't really know what people's problem is with their black tanks. We never had an issue with anything sticking or any gauges go bad. Um, it just ended up to work. So uh, we also love the awning. Uh, when that's out, it takes a couple minutes to set up, um, but it's really rugged and we've had it in some serious wind uh, with no issues at all. So one of the things I, I want to talk about is the door. This door is a beast, absolute heavy. You know, it's got that, that slam shut there that really puts, you know, the whole thing is basically soundproof. So we stayed, we stayed in lots of parking lots, Cabela's, Walmart's, anything we could stay at. Uh, because they're moving around so much and didn't call a lot of campgrounds and we didn't really care where we slept It's where we were actually spending our day. So this is soundproof. You got all the windows closed You can't hear a thing outside of it. And I mean my wife can talk on the inside. I can't hear a thing which led to some ar ar led to some Arguments, but that's all right Let's show you what's inside one of the things that we love About the Airstream Is the amount of light in here is out is great. First off, the light, the light in here is great. So we have, I don't know how many windows. There's a ton of windows in here. Right now it's winterized, which doesn't have anything to do with the light, but uh, we have a skylight above me. Let me show you guys that real quick. I'm gonna stand under that because there's not enough light for the camera. Um, but the entire surface in here are bright white colors, gray colors, or it's the actual mill finish aluminum. Now that actually lets the light bounce around here 
a substantial amount. So I have more lights to turn on in here. I think that's it for light switches. So the light is fantastic. That was the biggest deal breaker between buying something like an R-Pod or another travel trailer that was similar size, similar tow capacity. The tow capacity for my truck was 7,000 pounds. <coughs> this is 4,500. Uh, we want something we could bounce around really quickly and not have to, um, you know, didn't want something that was 30 feet in a lot of state parks um, and national parks. Are, they're really tricky to get into when they get up to that larger size. So this is at 22 from the tongue to the bumper. Um, the brightness really helps us out and makes it more feel like a home because those other trailers were dark interiors, dark uh, furniture, uh, wood paneling on the inside. It just, it just breathes 1980s furniture style. Uh, this is more of a new age, I call it like Ikea style uh, type of thing. So let me show you those, those bay windows, panoramic windows that I was talking about. So we absolutely love these. Uh, these all, those open up, that one opens up, those two are fixed. And that one opens up with the screen and everything like that. And we have overhead storage. So we use this for socks and stuff like that, something we can get at. Um, the mattress is actually surprisingly comfy. We slept at it for, you know, six months straight. It's very comfy. comfy. Uh, the person in that side of the bed gets a little gypped around the corners. Basically, you're a little short on one side. So my wife's just slightly shorter than me, so I made her sleep on the inside. Uh, some of the upgrades that we did... Um, where we added power over here to charge cell phones so that person can have a charger and then I actually put in a USB outlet here to run a fan so we spent a lot of time boondocking and there wasn't a lot of airflow so we either ran that or the noise was too loud outside of it when the windows open we added this little pocket storage thing here uh, the storage underneath is actually really fantastic um, you put four bins in there. The problem is, is you got to kind of either have to lift the whole bed up or you have to open this and not have anything right here. So it's a little bit of planning to get everything out from underneath there. So we've stored our clothes in there a lot. Uh, this is our solar controller um, and inverter. I know it's really dark under there, but so I'm going to close that. I'll talk about that in a second. So we, those are some of the uh, things that we added to the Airstream that made a big difference and I'll show you outside. The uh, DVD player is fantastic along with the TV. It's at a good placement. It's a little small for being, you know, this far away. Refrigerator is fantastic. We can use the microwave a lot. Uh, the sink is a little less than desired. It's, it's definitely some cheap hardware here, but you know, it does, it does what we need to do. Um, not a lot of cooking space, but it's just enough for like two people to, uh, you know, get stuff done. So. What we liked about the refrigerator is it runs on three different basically power systems, so battery, propane, or uh, 120 or, or shore power, um, and you control the, the temperature that tapes over there because that blue light was really blight, bright. Uh, we actually added a Chromecast to the TV. I took it off, so we had one of these splitters. Um, and all these hardware things that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to leave all the descriptions for those below in the comments for uh, probably Amazon links if I can. Um, we really like the table system. The one thing I didn't like is this spacing should be just a little bit bigger, even if it was three inches bigger um, over that way where you could move the whole dinette over just a little bit, make it so much easier for two people to basically live in here full time. And it's really not meant to be lived in full time um, in general. So one of the things that I talked about in the, uh, other video was so let me just let me just say this we lived in this for six months yes it is our first camper i've towed things all around so i used to do dirt bikes and four wheels and snowmobiles i used to tow trailers all the time and for work i know what i'm doing i know what i'm driving and i do my own maintenance on the trailer we maintained it everything that we needed to do on the trailer yes lots of things broke um lots of people said oh you bashed your trailer you beat on it you must have drove it down washboard roads. Um, we did because some of the roads are actually washboard. We had no intention of beating up our own house that we were staying in. Uh, this is something that's very expensive. There's no reason for us to actually bash Airstream or bash 
the thing that we were living in. So all of this stuff was not intentional. Some of this stuff happened because of vibration down the road. Um, it's just nothing we can control. Some of this stuff was just electronic things that just break. I, we're the first owner of it. So any, any sort of kinks or bugs that are in the system, we're going to have to work them all out. And yes, I posted them all. I feel bad that all of this stuff broke and you know, the dealer Airstream warranty covered everything, everything. Even when we were on the road, most of the time I replaced the stuff myself because there's not a very, there's not a lot of Airstream dealers um, on the road and throughout the country. So if it was like under a hundred bucks, I would just replace it myself and not deal with the warranty service. So uh, we did a bunch of stuff fixed last year um, that was in the other video. So like I said, one of the things in the other video where you saw kind of Airstream skimp out, which I wish they didn't, uh, is where they use staples instead of screws. And I'll show you one of the examples um, real quick. So one of the examples was underneath the dinette. Uh, you really can't see underneath there unless I take screws out and then show you that it's screwed, uh, stapled together. So like I said in the video, these, so they put a couple screws in here and they're capped over. There's only four screws in this whole panel. So I actually put some more screws in here, uh, just normal wood screws. This is another thing that was an issue uh, along the way that screw backs out and kind of makes this whole panel wobble. Uh, but there's actually staples under here without taking all the screws out. All right, and as I was saying, the underneath these screws are actually staples. There's actually a, you know, a strip underneath there and a strip underneath there and there's staples. And this actually pulled apart after that screw loosened up from going down roads across the country that aren't perfectly smooth, mind you. And this pulled out and that pulled out. So I wanna just show you guys that. Uh, the storage under the seats is pretty useful. We use it for long-term storage. So first aid kit, that kind of stuff. And this whole thing was coming apart before we put this shoe thing on there. So uh, we put the shoe thing on there to put shoes and some other stuff along the way. And uh, this is already disconnected, so I mean this doesn't doesn't weigh a lot. Um, one of the other things that we made for for upgrades was we just put a water filter on our our tap here. Uh, that helps out with just getting rid of that chlorine smell uh, that we're not used to. Um, all of the cabinet storage is great. Uh, we put that on because it ended up opening up one day. I think it was just not latched all the way. Antenna works great. Um, Closet space is actually really nice. We put two little plastic bin things in here to um, put like t-shirts and stuff like that. And then we stored like blankets and stuff up here. We ne never actually used this coat hanger because we didn't really wear a lot of things that needed to be buttoned up or ironed or anything like that. The heat is great. Um, so the heat actually comes out of here. So it actually warms up this area pretty nice, especially when you close the curtain. And close that curtain up uh, and when that plastic was there before that fell out that actually kept this area really nice and warm and then as far as the bathroom's concerned um, having the hot water switch and all your monitor levels here is really good put a broom handle in there um, it's actually probably reading wrong toilet works great it's a little odd because the just the spacing in there but that's good Sink placement's good. Uh, mirror is good to have that retractable and flips over. Um, shower pressure is good and the shower head, you can really take really short showers if you're boondocking because of the, uh, like I said, this is winterized, the on and off switch here. So you can turn it on and off and soap. Um, more storage under here. One of the big things that we made for upgrades even before we uh, went on our road trip was there was old Venetian blinds like the blade lines, blade blinds in here. Uh, we replaced them with these. Um, I don't know if I bought these off Amazon. I think it was some Windows Direct or something like that or ShuttersDirect.com or something like that. These are great. You can pin them down to the little things over here. Uh, most of these little pin things broke off. That's how we used to um, winterize the Airstream. You can also close this. That's great. Sound system works great. Let me show you guys the solar panel hookup and I thought I had enough footage to show you guys how to install that but basically Airstream wants to charge you two grand and put 80 watts uh, on an Airstream so I did it for about 250 bucks I'm gonna guess 
Uh, but let me show you that on top. I gotta climb up here in the, in the truck kit. Yeah. So we actually stuck a solar panel to the roof and then we ran the power right to the back where there's an actual power outlet. All of the links for that stuff will be in the description below for all the solar stuff. Make sure you follow your instructions. Like I said, it's a lot cheaper to do it uh, on your own than to do it through Airstream, uh, unless it already comes with it, just roll it into your loan. Um, we opted for the, the camera package on the back, which makes a whole hell of a difference when you're backing up, uh, unless you're really not paying attention. Um, and one of the biggest things is, so what do you guys have for a camper? Oh, we have an Airstream. It's not a model, not an anything. We just have an Airstream. It's, it's what you call it. You don't call it a travel trailer. Uh, that's what insurance calls it. Uh, it's an Airstream. It's an American icon. Uh, we really do like it. We maybe will upgrade at some point um, after we fix the dent on this one and uh, maybe go on future road trips. We're not sure yet. We really do miss living in it and traveling around. Uh, my wife works remote, so we get an opportunity to do that. And I work um, as a consultant, so some of the stuff I can do is remote. But that's it. So, like I said, I know you guys really love the last video and the furnace video of the Airstream because this is pretty expensive. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe. We're gonna try to keep more videos coming out um, of our daily, daily life and show you guys why we stopped our road trip. Uh, it's something really special, of course. So make sure you uh, subscribe and comment below. And like I said, we didn't bash this thing on purpose. Uh, it wasn't abused. We just drove it the way we would drive a house towing behind us. Um, and that's it.